Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and with me is the Weasley. And we're gonna go and start a new game on the Fat Man difficulty, so the normal difficulty. I really want to get the friendly ending of this game, and I feel that this is something that we should really try to achieve before we go into random challenges uh, that make it unnecessarily difficult. But we're going to go through these anyway, sooner or later. But let's begin our adventure, and well, this time I will again try to get as many items as possible um hopefully grab the padlock thing is there you now have more items but the same time to grab them so that's kind of awkward i feel um made it harder then again if you've been playing the game for a while wasn't too much of a challenge oh yes i want the boy scout book and i want my son let's go to the shelter did it just kick a ball yeah it did all right i'll take the map okay the suitcase i think is three slots big so yeah, there you go. Give me the flashlight. I think this is already a pretty good run. Hey, girl. Put you in there. And my... Uh, yeah, water and food, probably not the worst idea that I ever had in my career of 60 seconds. More. We need more. Come on, grab it. Damn it. Okay, I want more water. I think I have three cans of food, which is nice. Ooh, med kit. Never mind, yes. And the axe doesn't fit anymore. Arr! Okay, I think I can do one single run. I could get the med kit if I'm fast and add the axe. And the box spray, and I'll have the water. Anything important I forgot? Potentially, yes, but that's just the risk we're going to have to take. Rhyme's running out, and over. All right, that was actually a pretty good haul, I think. I got the suitcase, I got the padlock, I got a med kit, I got the map, I got the radio. Yeah, this is actually really good. I think I didn't get the playing cards, and the game is probably going to punish me for that. Yeah, wow, look at that. That's a good shelter. That's all in 60 seconds. Bam! All of us made it to the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. Yep. Oh, when we noticed the uh, open, uh, when we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. You mean when you threw your family down the shaft? They noticed as they landed face first on the ground. Possibly. Ah, we can really say we recall putting all of these supplies here, but we're definitely going to put them up to good use. Oh, well, looky here. L looky? Is that, is that a thing you say? Looky here! One of us must hit this inside the suitcase a while ago. It was so lucky we took the suitcase. That's actually kind of cool. Um, I wonder if this only randomly happens, because this is the second time I get it after grabbing the suitcase. So, eh. Anyway, this is a pretty good shelter so far. I like it. I do like it, and I appreciate that we have so much. Uh, we don't have to ration anything yet. We're just going to keep going. I wonder if I should wait a little bit until we get a message that the radiation is over, because we do not have a gas mask. So we have plenty of food. So I think I might just stay in here and deal with the events given to me uh, during that time. And uh, what is left? A lot of stuff. All right. Yeah, the area is still irradiated. Ha! Guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. We got a bunch of mushrooms growing on the walls. No, we're not going to eat the mushrooms. We have plenty of food. We have plenty of food. What? Is it? Is it? I don't Is it? Is it my finger? Is it? It might be. We may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat, like mushrooms. I mean, okay, wall fungus does sound way worse than mushrooms that grow on the wall. Now that you say it like that. Um, we can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Yes, 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 we can. They, 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 they were trained for this day. They were trained. I saw... <laughs> I, ha I have a guilty pleasure. And, ooh, whoever designed this fall shelter was a genius, but we really can't, really can't tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. We got the Boy Scout book, we're fine. Um, I have a guilty pleasure. Shitty TV shows are my guilty pleasure. Every once in a while, I put on the Netflix and put some random-ass TV show on, and one of them is, I think, called Doomsday Preppers, which, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Legit to a degree, but there was this guy that just took his kids from school to teach him to how to survive in the woods. You took him from school. The more likely outcome, you know, that they grow up and need a job and need education to teach them about doomsday prepping. I mean, every once in a while, apparently not all the time, but yeah. Homeschooling, not always the best thing. Anyway, Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Yep, 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 yep. That was a completely random tangent, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Bird. Okay, bird is gone. Uh, it's day four. We don't need to do anything. Area is still irradiated. I think we're gonna wait until I say day ten, at least, before we send someone out. At least day ten. I don't know why I do the thing with the fingers. Yes, I slept well. 
people might notice. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. I agree. Okay, it's time to give everyone water or lose the game. And since I don't want to lose the game, I think I'm going to give them, yeah, I'm going to give them water. I would love to drink some of my coffee. Today I don't have a pug mark, but the coffee is too hot. It's the worst. Worst. Absolutely the worst. All right. Doom. Day six, and we have a soup. We can make it work even in Toronto. It's so, it's so random. When I don't read the day before, they're connected. Like, at the end of the day, you get a message and then the reply at the beginning. So it's kind of weird to just say, like, we can make it work even in Toronto. Deal with it. All right. Okay. Everyone's calm. Everyone's okay. Seems to be doing all right. I think this is where the game now starts to get interesting because we're gonna contamination is so strong um, because we seem to get some. Uh, oh, oh, the guy wants to play for food, but I don't have playing cards because we st kind of start to get events and scavenging starts to happen now. I mean, soonish. I, I will still wait until day ten. I mean, I get like a rough information how it's going outside. All right, I all want some food except Ted. So Ted, you're not getting food. You say you don't need any. <sighs> the, the contamination of our toast town is still strong. Um, yeah, let's not send anyone out. We're good, we're good. As long as everyone's fed. I think Ted needs less food, I guess, because he's a little bit round. Loris looks like she needs food every day. Eating food every day. Play true for dare. Mary Jane is very thirsty, doesn't eat much. Okay. Ted is now hungry. Okay, here you go, Ted. Uh, area still irradiated. Yeah, okay. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water We swear some of them keep coming back and they're bigger every time we see them Well, the big question is do we get the mutant amend? Do we get Mary Jane to transform into a mutant? No, we don't What a shame. What a shame. I never know what to pick and it's so arbitrary if you get the mutant event Anyway, a good book is the solution to any problem you encounter. Yes, even if it means killing someone with it Plus one soup, bountiful hunt. Man, we have plenty of soup. Soup is not a problem. Okay. Uh, water tomorrow. Contamination is still strong. I think, yeah, we're gonna prepare and then go out on day 11. It's been a while, we don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If only at the chance to tune in some emergency radio station with our radio after nine days. Why would you wait that long? Why? Why would they wait that long? Nine days, seriously? We're able to get a weak signal and tap into government emergency announcement service. Guess what? Great news. The fallout outside is mostly gone. That is why I waited. All right. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Timmy's in terrible shape. Laura's won't survive without water. Does anyone need food? I forgot to look. No, no. Okay. Okay. We're going to prepare an expedition for tomorrow. They should be fed now. It's really weird when you get that feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this thing has been bugging us for a while now. We check the closets. No one's in hiding. Maybe a rodent of some kind. If so, we need to show it that we're the dominant species in this little paradise of ours. Well, if you don't know what it is, how can you show it who's the dominant species? Well, we're gonna shoot it. I mean, that's a pretty dominant thing to do, as history has taught us, is to have a gun and point it at people and then shoot them. Apparently, that's a pretty... Yeah. Whatever it was, it's dead now. As expected, that, that happens when you use a gun. On some deep... It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. Timmy's good. Dolores, nothing to report. Nothing going on with Ted. Good. That means we can finally do... Uh, we should send someone outside. And I think we're going to send the eldest. We're going to send Ted outside. And we're going to give him the suitcase. And with that, we're going to give him a rifle. You know what? I'm just going to give him a rifle. And hopefully... Hmm. And the axe. And a map. You know what? Let's risk it. I'm, I'm, I'm saying we're, we're giving him the best equipment we got. I don't know if he needs a, yeah, med kit. Let's give him a med kit just to be on a safe side. And, um, yeah, he's really well equipped. He got a med kit, he got a rifle, he got a map. All right, you're screwed, guys. If he doesn't come back, you're screwed. Just, just saying. Ted left for the surface. We hope he will be back soon with all of this equipment. Mary Jane says she's fine, doesn't need anything. I thought... When I saw the suitcase as an item, I thought you would take it with you and could haul way more stuff inside. But that's not the case. You can just bring stuff with you. Alright, Ted left for the surface. Dolores is doing quite well. Nothing new to report. Those are my favorite messages. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually. Alright, let's listen to the radio. See if the government is going to come and save us, please. Ooh. That's a new sound. I like it. Dig it, dig it. The Morse code. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. Oh, okay. I got it. 
Thank you. And they're coming for us. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions. You, Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy should eat something. And Dolores would love to eat. Okay, everyone is hungry. I can I can do that. We're not big fans of the strange smelling shell. Sh strange smelling smelter. Shell smell. Strange smelling a shelter, but when we started to smell something burning, we quickly realized how much we prefer for the f nothing is on fire scent it had before. Ah, uh, the boy. Um, uh, um, I'm gonna take the radio. I need the radio to get into contact with the military. Otherwise, I'm kind of screwed on that front. Boy scout book is amazing, but we can't find one, so who knows? We need our source of information. We went for the radio first, and we were able to grab it before it was engulfed by flames. I'm pretty sure tomorrow we're gonna get a, uh, the next day we're gonna get an event where we need the Boy Scout book and it's gonna screw us over. Something along those lines. Timmy's in there, in there. Water. Yeah, water tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, we're not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. No, the bunny beast. We can't let it be here when we sleep. The bunny beast. It's the weasel beast. The weasel beast is watching you. The weasel beast is guiding you. All hail the weasel beast. Hashtag pray for weasel beast. Hashtag Weasel Beast. I like that. Our cans can be saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Yes, good for us. Timmy's in terrible shape. Water. Mm. Alright, water. Time for water. Okay, they all need water. Yeah, yeah, it's day 15. Why do I even look? What was that? Did the radio stop for a moment? Let's try tuning into that signal. Please. Let's be something useful. Probably I need playing cards. I I uh, I would I would I would bet I need playing cards. Alright. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static. Better luck next time. I will. It's always better when things are calm. Nothing new happened to Mary Jane. Yep, 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 yep. Everyone's fine. Let's hope Ted comes back. And the other day, we had a quiet knock on our door, but when we opened, we only found a suitcase on our doorstep and there was no one around. It isn't signed, but it sure looks like it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? Are you kidding me? I couldn't leave a suitcase outside the door. It's If it's a bomb, it's a problem. Oh, Ted is back. And he's sick. And Timmy's sick. Crap. It was an instant looking bottle of water, so we took a sip. We thought we got lucky, but it was a lie. Either that water was irradiated or it was some kind of biological weapon. It made us all feel pretty sick. So you all decided to take a sip out of a bottle at once. Instead to one takes a sip, gets sick, and then it's like, oh, I'm not drinking that. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Okay, he brought back this stuff. Theater means actors, and where you find actors, you can easily run into mimes, and so we approached the theater on our tiptoes. But in the end, we decided our need for supplies was greater than our fear for mimes, so we bravely went in to explore. This must have been one of the boring play. Oh, this must have been one boring play if the only props used were bottles. The scene was practically filled with them. Thankfully, some had water in them. We half expected the theater cafeteria to be in a sorry state. Surprisingly, the atomic blast spared most of it, and we were able to admire their selection of foods. It was very vivid, small, medium, or large cans of tomato soup. We felt large cans were meant for us. Two cans. Damn it, we really like that suitcase. Well, it's gone now. Ah, well. And we got three bottles of water. So we got some uh, loot. We didn't lose any of the other stuff. Problem is, one of the guys is now sick, so I'm gonna give it to Chad. Sorry, Timmy. It's nothing personal. I just, you know. Um, Alright, Ted needs to eat. Yeah, I think Ted needs to eat. All right, let's do that. Let's give him food. Ring, ring, ring. Banana phone. There we were thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a thone, 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 a thone, a thone thought ringing. <sighs> From somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Yes, Timmy. Timmy is sick already. Timmy, eh, I mean, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy's sick already. All right, Ted is fine, so that's good. We answered the phone. We could clearly hear a gasp of relief on the call. They introduced themselves as survivors from the nearby town of Hill Valley. Oh, the twins. Fantastic. Let's hope they come back to us. And I don't have a med kit. I need a med kit. All right. We were afraid for Timmy, but he came back. That's great. All right. Water. Everyone's water. Ted's hungry. All right. Ted gets food again. And I think we're going to send Timmy out tomorrow. At least that's my plan. Trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. Full of empty soup cans. Um, I'm not gonna deal with them. I kind of keep the um, box spray for the case that we can make a med kit with it. It's possible without the Boy Scout book. Less likely, but still. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. 
Wait, I think I say that wrong. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere! Something along those lines, sorry. Mary Jane is quite hungry, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, water tomorrow. And Ted gets more food, okay. Ted gets more food. Uh, we're gonna send Timmy out. Hmm. Timmy. I will give Timmy... I will give Timmy an axe. I will give him... No, I'm, I'm going to give him the rifle. Maybe that's going to survive his... Uh, survive. Increase his chances of survival. Um, if not, we still have the axe so we can defend ourselves and do the tree chopping event for the military. I think the rifle is not necessarily needed. Mergen is quite hungry, keeps fainting. Okay, it's time for water and everyone gets food. Food, water. Except Timmy. Little Timmy's gonna die now. Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. All right, honey. What's going on? Tell me about your problems. Did someone make fun of you? Did your father make fun of you again? Ted, I told you not to call the little specky speck. Ah, oh, well. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over hot beverage. We don't have the letter. Uh, we don't have a lot of macchiato. But talking alone seems to do the trick. I don't know why it's... It's latte, latte. Anyway, Mary Jane seems to be fine today. Hopefully, it will stay that way. Today was relatively comfortable. Blah blah. blah everything's good. It is not easy to be calm in these circumstances. You will do just fine. Breathe in and breathe out. Everything's good. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone apathetic. Yeah. Loris is fine and well. Ted is not complaining. Okay, everything's good. We're just waiting for little Timmy. And the military is transmitting again. They set their first step to locate any remaining survivors. Um, a plane will be doing a sweep. We need our flashlight. Very good that we got that. Let's hope we don't get a playing card event because that is super annoying because I don't have playing cards. Ah, well. If I have to sacrifice our daughter, I have to sacrifice our daughter. Everything going as planned. Can we spare some water? Dolores has to drink. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, call us weird, but we think those roaches are trying to communicate with us. Is it possible there are no intellectual equals? Maybe we could turn them into cheap labor force to support our survival effort. Once a capitalist, always a capitalist. <laughs> okay, um, we're not gonna deal with them. I'm just gonna let them grow. It's gonna be my little friends. Timmy's back. And Mary Jane became a mutant. Yay! That's great! Actually, that's fantastic news. Um... Well, congratulations to me for coming back. You brought back a can of soup. A, ca a whole can of soup and a bottle of water and ammunition. Timmy's really hungry and really tired. All right, you can get some food. Um, and we're gonna prepare for an expedition and we're gonna send, I like, say Dolores. Let's send Dolores out uh, tomorrow. Man, that's great getting that Mary Jane character. That's great, just, the, ah, I love mutants. Mutants are the best. I love mutants. You can quote me on that. I don't know why I would do that, because it makes no sense in any context, but hey! We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Mary Jane is quite hungry, Timmy should eat... Water, okay. Let's give water and food to everyone. I figure, why not? And we're gonna send out Mary Jane... No, I'm gonna send out... Wait. Dolores, Mary Jane is gonna defend our bunker. Uh, what to take outside? Take the rifle. Go and take the rifle, woman. Maybe you can defend yourself when the raiders are coming. They always capture her. I'm, I'm not very lucky with that whole thing. Alright. I should not talk to her anymore, by the way. I think that's a bad idea. Ted is fatigued. Timmy should eat. Timmy should eat. Oh yeah, Timmy has, out, right? has been out. <sighs> we have so much soup. I don't mind giving that to him. It turns out, Mr. Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two more cockroaches. We need to clean up our mess or end up with a full-blown infestation. I think that sounds like fun. I don't mind an infestation. What is the worst that could happen? I never had problems with roaches, seriously. I mean, I never got sick from them. Mm, to be continued in the next episode because it got a little bit long. Leave a like. Bye-bye.